This video is designed to teach you about chromosomes. When we're talking about the idea of cell division and mitosis, it's very important to start with a discussion of chromosomes because this is how the cell actually ends up moving the DNA around during this process. If we take a look at this first picture, one of the things it's showing you on the left-hand side over here is a cell. So we have the membrane around the outside and then the nucleus in the middle. Inside of the nucleus are these little X-like structures. Those structures are the chromosomes. Uh, to give you an idea of what these are, all of your DNA is inside of the nucleus. And in, um, if you remember the prokaryotic cells that we looked at during the chapter on cells, they're kind of a mess on the inside because the DNA is scattered all over the place. Well, that's pretty much what the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell looks like. Now, in order to go through the process of cell division, the cell has to move that DNA around, and it has to be able to move a new set of DNA into the new cell that's being created at the end of cell division. That would be nearly impossible if the DNA was a jumbled mess inside of the nucleus. So one of the first things that happen during the process of mitosis is that the DNA, which is usually all coiled up, ends up condensing down into these little X-like structures. Now, depending on the species, uh, there's going to be a different number of chromosomes. Uh, for example, for people, you have 46 chromosomes. You get 23 from mom and 23 from dad. Uh, chromosomes eventually will have this X-like shape to them, although they don't right away. So we'll, we'll talk about um, like how that comes about in a minute. But the most important thing to remember about chromosomes is it's just condensed DNA. And I like this picture because it shows how like the DNA kind of coils up and wraps around and condenses down into these different chromosomes. Uh, to give you a better idea for the individual structure of the chromosome, we'll look at this one. Uh, what this is showing you first is an unduplicated chromosome on this side. So this is what your normal body cells have. Uh, your chromosomes are usually just one straight line with this thing called the centromere in the middle of it. When your cells are getting ready for division, they go through S phase, in which phase the DNA is copied. Because remember, in order to make a new cell, that new cell needs a copy of the original DNA. Once that DNA has been copied, you go from just having a chromosome to having what we call sister chromatids, which are two identical chromosomes. What's going to happen is one of these chromosomes will end up staying in the original cell. The other chromosome gets passed on to the new cell as its own copy of the DNA. Uh, the reason I like this picture is it shows these different color bands. And uh, these actually do have slightly different coloration. We'll look at some images of actual chromosomes in class. And you'll see that there's different bands of color. Now, they're not necessarily you know, red or pink, but there's different tints to how dark the different sections of the chromosomes are. And those are the genes that are being coded for. So maybe this is the gene you know, for hair color. This is the gene for eye color. You know, different things depending on which chromosome it is in your body. Uh, but the most important thing to take away from this one is the terminology of sister chromatids when there's two duplicated chromosomes. You've got one on one side and a perfect copy on the other, and then they are attached together at the centromere in the middle. So keeping in mind that these things are what allow your body to move the DNA around from uh, one spot to the next during that process of cell division. So just to, uh, to kind of recap the major ideas, uh, this first one, actually, I just sort of mentioned, but um, each of your cells do have a set number of chromosomes. You know, for example, for people, uh, we have 46 chromosomes. For uh, something else, for example, if we look at uh, fruit flies, they have 8 chromosomes. Uh, carrots have 18 chromosomes. So each species is going to have a different number. Uh, the next thing is that chromosomes are condensed DNA. You know, the DNA is normally a mess inside of the nucleus. It condenses down so it can move around in an organized fashion during cell division. Sister chromatids are the term for two identical chromosomes that are bound together at this thing called the centromere in the middle. That's what holds them together with one another. One of the things that you'll see during a step in division is those sister chromatids are actually going to be pulled apart. One's going to go to the new cell. The other one stays uh, in the old cell as its own copy of DNA. So chromosomes are a basic thing, but they do make the entire process of mitosis and cell division possible. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class.